it four times? Oh, I know. You just broke my heart. <laughs> I was like, yes, I'm first. Streamer prerogative. <laughs> now I'm third. Well, what yeah, I, I'm kind of used to doing it four times. That's okay. Right. I'm ready. All right. Drop the turn. God. I'm gonna play a rogue's passage and pass turn. Uh oh. Land. He's gonna make things unblockable in like five turns. No, I'm just gonna keep it. It's <laughs> gonna screw me over. Mountain and pass. All right. We're gonna go ahead and draw. And we're gonna do. Oh God, he's been exiled of his own game. No, I'm I'm still here. Uh, your screen. your screen's black and your name's gone. Yeah, I see. Hold on, let me fix it. Uh, I I pass then too. Oh, um, okay. okay, that should be better. Of course, the land returns. I'm going to tap the force. I'm going to play the awesome. Ooh, I like that card a lot. Yeah, card is a tasty one. Oh, you know, I don't really think that it's that tasty. I licked it and it was very salty. Well, that, that, that was more of a metaphorical tasty. Oh, it's probably you know I would expect it to be more spicy. No, it was something. We're gonna go ahead and draw a card, and we're gonna play a planes and pass the turn. Untapped draw. I'm going to play planes as well, and then I'm going to. Another spicy one. Catilda on our farm. Alright. Let's see what I can Jesus. Alright, I'm gonna have to go just <laughs> Oh god. Mountain. I almost died. Three. Oh my god, three reds. I have no blue in my hand. Oh I'm god. Commanding Hex. Enchanted player. Whenever enchanted player casts a non creature spell, roll d d6. It deals that much damage and then choose a player at random and equip it to them. So, zombie apocalypse, oh. I can equip to you. Oh. Well, no, it says choose a player at random, so I'm sure the roll would die. No, I can choose it at first. I yeah. after the damage. Oh, the damage is random. I thought you meant the enchanted player. No, so, no, so it, uh, after, after the first target. He he then oh, has to re-equip it to a game. yeah. Uh, well, it's random. After, it, after the first target, it randomly reattaches. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, All right. Cool I haven't seen that yet. It is pretty cool, but it's not a lightning coil. All right, we're gonna. Why couldn't I draw you last turn? All right. Mm -hmm. we're, I just wish like I drew a card and it would have been perfect last turn because it cost two. Uh, we're gonna play my commander and pass the turn. I cast my one commander once.
I had a really good option that I could have done instead. Oh, yeah. Oh, Randy Randos, that's right. What's up, Switch? Hey, Alan, how are you doing today? Uh, another mountain. Oh! And I got passed. Oh, no. Untap, upkeep, draw. Well, so he only has red mana, so I'm not too scared. We're going to go ahead and cast my other commander. And then, uh, we're going to go to combat. Uh, uh, Kretrel, or how do you pronounce your name? Krelter? Yeah, Krelter. Yeah. I'm going to attack you with a 2-2 two -two lifelink. Okay. I'm going to gain two life. I'm going to lose one after so i'm only gonna do the one and then i'm gonna draw a card okay and then i will pass the turn and then i have to discard the hand size gross the dreaded discard i'll discard a command draw beacon I'm going to... made a pancake earlier and <laughs> you should have taken a picture of it. <laughs> Someone in my chat apparently made a pancake and it looked like the backside of a magic card. So did it have the colors too? Was it like a funfetti pancake? And did it have the ring of colors in the back too? Because that would be amazing. I am going to... I'm gonna cast a Venom Connoisseur. Upon cast, I will create a human soldier token. Yeah, you will. Card's not a plane. Try again, computer. Yeah. There we and go. Then, and then I'm going to tap for a green. Probably should have done it the other way. Uh, uh Technically, your Venom. Oh, that's a cast trigger, isn't it? It is a yeah, cast trigger. Okay, then never mind. I was gonna say technically your Venom Connoisseur has Death Touch now, but that's not true. Uh, but it's about to. Because I'm going to cast another creature. A Mana Gorger Hydra. And I'll create another human soldier. So, two creatures entered. So now all your creatures have Death Touch. Is that correct? Yes. That is correct. So now all of my creatures have Death Touch. <laughs> you should. I would, I I would love to watch it. As, my commander is the only one who is un without summoning sickness and able to attack this turn so i think i'm gonna send him you know i'm gonna go ahead and send him over at uh, a zombie because i know you're not gonna block with your commander oh heck no how much is it it's a two he's on two right now but you have the most life so I feel like that's very fair and then I will pass this. And that was. Now draw. Okay. Pay three for horizontal I'm stone. Following you. I'm not, I'm going to. I'll keep drawing. Uh, this game is great. Alright. Switch. The board's getting a little crazy over there. Oh god. Chain reaction. No! Are you really killing my two two twos? Do you want his board with a bunch of death touches out? No, you probably don't. But, but I was gonna attack him and make his life miserable. Well, I I'm already miserable. I know. I know. I know. Go to pass. That's why you, you got to hold your creatures back until you get them. Yeah. Well, for me, it was... <laughs> for me, it was unsituational. It was situational that I was going to play anyway. Well, I had a very good reason for trying to play some creatures. So, uh, zombie, you're good to go. I passed. I'm all sad on the internet now. 
All right, we're gonna play. Playing on Twitter. We're gonna play a second forest here. Um. Uh. <coughs> um. I'm going to be casting two spells. I just want to see what two spells I'm casting. All right. I think. All right. So I'm going to take a random amount of damage if I cast a non-creature spell, huh? Yeah, one to six damage. It's still random. All right. Uh, two, three. We're going to play Myth Unbound, so now my commanders cost one less to catch for each time I cast that particular commander. Whenever your commander is put into the command zone from anywhere, draw a card. Okay. So, non-creature, right? Yes, yes. Rolling a six. Two damage. All right. So, so now you roll a D. Is it a random... Other player or any random? So the retard could it retard? Spamming hex <coughs> and attach it to another one of your opponents is chosen at random, so we can't choose them so, again. So just roll odds and even for any opponents. Yeah. Uh, you goes odds. Hold on, no, it would be between all three of us, right? Because it's oh, one of no, your opponents, your right? I don't control that permanent. Well, no, reread it though. Because it says another one of your opponents. Then so attach manning hex to another one of your opponents. Yeah, because it says another right. one of your opponents that excludes Oh, you. another one. Okay, I see what you're saying. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> so, Hugo's odds, Krelter's odds. Okay, Krelter, you got it. Perfect. <laughs> when it lands on the exercise, it's stuck. Because my deck has like maybe five or six cards that are not creatures. <laughs> Uh, and then we're gonna cast, um, Kelth Sunmane. Uh, and it says whenever a commander you control attacks, put a plus one plus one counter on it. And then I will pass the turn. Creatures get plus one plus one, other white creatures get plus one plus one. And if a spell or ability would add a point of control to make me discard this card, I can just put it onto the battle club instead. But it's irrelevant once it's played. Wait. Oh. What happened to. Oh, you want me to leave? What hey, happened to. We were waiting for. Uh... Uh, yeah, somebody got exiled for a second. Uh, let me yeah. right back. Wait, so who who's the the, the lobby leader? Uh technically I am. So you you'll have to kick him so the other guy can come back. Yep. DJ Kelly <laughs> There he is. There he is. Welcome back. Yo, he me out, he, he <laughs> because someone yeah, straight up back. swooped into your spot. <laughs> <laughs> So that was quick. Uh, whose turn is that? I go. Oh, it is Krill's turn. Uh, uh, he ca cast a white, uh, wilt leaf si liege. Yeah, that is a oh, thank God. Herbor, Cuban Yongma. Hey! Look at all these swamps I have. <laughs> I needed that. Thank you. Wait, what does it do? All of our lands are uh, swamp. swamp in addition oh. to other lands. That doesn't no. help. Okay. I mean, it actually could potentially help uh, a zombie. 
I mean, I don't have that much black in here. Yeah, but it would give you a second black green, double black pip. Uh, I'm not saying that I don't have two black pip spells, but. Whenever a creature you control dies of Vindictive Vampire deals one damage to each opponent, I gain one life, and that's my turn. Okay. Draw a uh, blue. Draw a uh, blue. Draw a uh, blue. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. See. That's a weird looking swamp there. Okay. That is a weird looking swamp. <laughs> it's, a, it's an older one. No, he said it's a weird looking swamp. Oh, it's... I didn't hear him. Now it's not just a swamp. Did you drew that, that's the coolest yeah. bayou ever. I'm gonna play contact other plane. So, roll d20, draw two cards, scry two, then draw two, scry three, then draw three. So let's roll. So I got 19. I got oh, you could have gotten one higher. Yeah. Ooh, I like this hand. I like it. I like it. Uh, we'll draw it. Let's tap for one and play a soul ring and pass. There we go. All right, we're gonna go ahead and draw a card. All of a sudden, back in the game. Uh. Hey, come back. All right, let's see. See, you didn't even have to blow up on my shit. And... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, now, now he's straightened out because it's. Um, every time it does that, it moves my buttons around. I'll be going to click the mute button and it'll move, and the freaking video button will get clicked. All right. <laughs> I think he's going to pass to you now. We're gonna recast my commander. It sounds like a plan. It's like my deck's based around these two cards. It's almost like. Would, it's would, almost I like. Almost that. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and cast Hardy Outlander. Uh, so, commander creatures you own have. When this creature attacks a player, if no opponent has more life than that player, Another target creature you control gets plus X plus X and tell him to turn where X is the creature's power. Cool. <clears throat> and then that's swing, it for me. Another one. I should I should have those on my blur uh, blurps. Another. One. Anything. Yeah, having only four mana stinks. Yeah, man. Yeah. Well, I could tell hadn't died. I could have done some stuff. Sad. I will be coming for vengeance. Is it just yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta take this damage Stuff. here. I'm gonna tap for two swamps. Two. Oh, shoot. Ugh. Or a diabolic tutor. Search my library for a card, put it into my hand, and then shuffle my library. And then uh, roll that d6 there. <laughs> yes, the, the tutorials on the old magic games are really, really bad. Alright. Sorry about that. No problem. Whose turn is it? Um, no, yeah. Broker just um, cast a non creature spell. It's so, spell yeah. Oh, okay. So, roll a d6 to see how much damage he takes, and then. Three. And then roll evens or odds for Hugo and me. So, Hugo used to be odds, zombie, you'll be even. Alright, it's on mm. Hugo. 
Hey, it's get it's getting Vengeance evenly distributed. I'm never gonna cast a non-creature spell <laughs> again. I only have like five or six in the whole deck. And those are just a couple of enchantments. I mean, they're good. They're, I need them. You know what I mean? <laughs> but so I'm glad I don't have to worry about that card for a while. Because this deck is mostly enchantments. <laughs> Ooh. Well, think about yeah, it. Like, I like, cast them until I'm ready to start. There's like, four, <laughs> there's like four backgrounds. So, uh, what card did you get? Is it a good one, Crelter? Yeah, it is a very good one. Is it the best card in the deck? Can I, uh, no. can I see? You, you want to show it to me? Yeah, you're gonna you gonna show it to us? I, I'm really interested. You always have the choice. Ah, oh, he's too smart. He got us. Oh no! He got us. I wasn't trying. It's your turn, you wizard. Have the choice. Right. Untap, draw. Eh, this is an okay card. I'll tap for six, and I'll play Malik. Nice. Malik says play with the Takaria library field. I'm going to put my library down here so you guys can see. That's kind of sad Talk there, Vince. Like, Mountain. You only, you only really think of your commander to be okay? Yeah. Okay. Whenever I, cast, I may cast some sister sources from top of my library, and if I do, I may copy it, and I'll pass. I'm just saying, I think he's pretty strong. Malik is a great card. He's all, like, he's all like, this isn't okay, card. I'm just gonna play my commander. He's only a, he's a shit sometimes, a little bastard. Yeah, I love your commander, Mike. I love Torrance. He's my best friend in the whole world. Me and him, we go drinking together. <laughs> I do. I also have a human uh, deck, but it's all about making the commander huge. Mine's not really humans. There but mine people. has to be. It's um, it's Kyler Sigardian emissary is the commander. If I can start casting stuff. All right, we're gonna go ahead and play Temple Garden untapped. Boom, boom. And then we're going to cast five. Four. You guessed it. My other commander. Why'd you cast your commander again? Why would I cast my commander again? You know, it's just about to get tapped today, right? And I would still draw a card. Yeah. And then... I think death is just holding on to a path and just telling me. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and play uh, Street Urchin this time. Um, it's basically I can pay one and sacrifice another creature to deal one damage to any target. Yep. Uh, how big is your creature, uh, Krelter? Oh god, he's frozen. He's gone to another planet. Out on my, uh, screen. Yeah, he, he's frozen on mine. Why does everyone have bad internet? Hey, he's back. How big uh, is your a two three? A two three. <sighs> All right, Krelter, I'm gonna attack you with a three three life link, and we're gonna. It's a three three because it's getting an encounter. I'll uh, I'll take the three. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and gain Commander two and draw a card. Huh? Commander damage. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Timna that's doing it. Alright, cool. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and draw a card. And then... That's it for me? Alright, I'm going to draw. This is gonna be a land. Land. It's land. But it's a soul ring into a sig- No, I'm just kidding. No, I wish. But it is a card that I can't play. Yeah! Stop!
Americans, where your breakfast is eat hearty, but tonight we dine in hell. You know, I should adjust the point value on that and make it three hundred. At least you're able to cast something. Yeah, I'm feeling I'm feeling better about it. You know, a little bit. We'll get there. Oh, did any of your creatures had plus one plus one counters when they died? No. Um, I would have if I would have had one turn, because only I had my commander I was able to attack with. Because everything that was on board pretty much came on board that turn. Right, right. Okay, Rampe. So whenever you gain life, you gain double that, huh? Yeah, indeed. Ooh. I'll pass turn after that. Untap. Upkeep. Draw my card. Reveal the next one, which is a re recalibrate. Turn target creature to runner's hand. Card card. Oh. Huh. Yeah. I love that wizards put put the art cards in like whenever you click on it, it's like why what no one gonna be playing with that? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Are even in there. I love yeah, when I like it. you click on a card and it's something that's like not even close to what it is. Like I get yeah, planes a lot. Uh, yeah, I got planes in uh, Savannah a lot. Yeah, or I, I get a lot of the the dual lands. Well, a lot of like the uh, like green white. Uh, pretty much, I, I get um, the blue white one as well. Mm. Okay, let's do this. Uh, how big are your creatures, Krelter? Two, three, and a one five. Okay. I will tap for three and I will play a robe of arch magi. Whenever a creature, creature deals combat damage to a player, you may draw a card. And equip is four, but equip for shaman, warlock, or wizards is one. So I'm going to tap for one and equip it to my commander. Uh, what's it do again? Whenever it deals damage to a player, you draw a card? Yep. You draw that many cards. That many? Wow, wow, we wow. It's, it, he's a 2 4, so two cards. Oh, I thought he was a 4 4. No, he's a 2 4. He's, he's oh, a man. Yeah, I mean, he... uh, Hugo, how big are your card? How big are your creatures? I have a 4 4 and a 3 2. Okay, I, I, I have, have a 2 2 and a 1 1. 2 2 and a. My 3 3 is tapped. Oh, okay. I'll swing at you, zombie, for just two. Sure. I'll take. You, you can draw your two cards. All right. Thank you. Recalibrate, and I guess I gotta rebuild the second one. Uh, oh, why not? <laughs> I played that land for turn. Great. Um, I'll pass turn. Uh, reveal your top card. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Mm, imprisoned in the moon. That's rude. Rude, rude, rude. That card is such a rude card. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go ahead and play a command tower here. Um, Uh, I could just sack it. Uh, you have a sack out? Uh, yeah, it cost me one, but I can use my one commander to sacrifice another. Because all because all my commanders are street ur street urchins and hardy outlanders. Um. All right, so we're gonna go to combat, and since wizard has 
the most health. Things are about to get spicy up in here. Well, actually, actually, we're tied, so no one has the most right now. Well, yeah, so as long as no one has more than the person, it's okay. So, let me just read another card in my hand. All right, so we're going to go to combat, and both my commanders are going to attack you, wizard. So, I have a couple of triggers. Um... The first trigger is each one's going to get a plus one plus one counter. Mm -hmm. And then each of them are going to give each other plus X plus X, where X wait, is. Wait, wait. Why are they. Because the, the trigger that happens if it, if it attacks an opponent that has the most lives, that one doesn't trigger. Yeah, why. why it's. Uh, if no opponent has more life than, tar, uh, than the opponent. So. Oh. Uh, yeah. I thought you said one of them had if they had the most uh, That was just me shorthanding it. Oh, uh, okay. If no one has more life than the opponent I attack. So, uh, so they're going to get plus one, plus one counters from this. Then they're going to mm -hmm. each give each other plus X plus X. So, uh, Timna will give her plus four, plus four. And she'll give her plus three, plus three. So for this is a temporary boost. So I'm just going to play with the uh, battle angel the tier. They actually say that if the player has the most life. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, I hit you for two. I know. For... <laughs> it, it's going to get worse if you don't have any responses. Honestly, I do not. Okay, I'm going to cast the chroma's will. And they're each going to get uh, Flying, Vigilance, uh, Double Strike, Lifelink, Indestructible, and Protection from Colors. Jeez. Oh, God. So, uh, it goes this way, actually. Um, so, that would be 7, 14 damage from Timna. And, uh... That would be... Oh, it would be 14 damage from both. 28 damage. 20... Oh my god, okay. Going down to 12. Alright, I'm gonna get... You definitely won't have more life than other players, so he probably won't swing at you. I definitely won't swing at you next turn. <laughs> um, so I'm gonna get... Uh, 14... 1-1 one, one Sapperling tokens. And then I'm going to cast a card called... Oh, okay, so second main phase. Oh, wait, I, I get to gain tw uh, 28 life. You're still using the Pokemon counters? <laughs> uh, yes. I just don't have... I just don't have 14 of them. <laughs> if I want to use others later. Uh... I'm going to draw one card since I only attacked one opponent and lose one life. Uh, oop. And then second main phase, we're going to cast inspiring leader, which means my commander, my commanders have an ability that gives all tokens plus two plus two. So currently my to my 14 sapperlings are five fives. Just a little dangerous. Yeah, uh, those dice are those actual counters on the commanders? These are actual counters, correct. Those are what, plus one, plus one counters? Yeah, so this one has one, this one has two. Uh, and that's it for my turn. That's crazy. I was told you weren't allowed to have more than one background at the day. Oh, no, you, you can't have more than one background chosen. You can't, yeah, you can have them in the 99. You just can't have one on one that's on the Yeah, I understand that. My friend has been telling me you can't have more than one background at a deck. No, you can have as many as you want. more than one background in the command zone. And it's hilarious because my street urchin are, my street urchins are inspiring leaders and also hardy outlanders. They, they've lived quite a life. Well, let me ask. They are born leaders. Oh, 
gonna I'm gonna have to answer the board question. I have the threat. Do, yes. Do Iron Man Two or, or Wizard have a way of killing his commanders? Uh, negative. I have something that can kind of help us. I use my only kill spell, so no. But I do have protection for myself. Well, um, the damage that are, that's dealt from your enchantment can you is it? Can you target that any of you want to? There's a deal of damage just to the player that casts the spell. Um, it, uh, it just deals there. a random damage to that player. Okay, random it's, damage. It's not much. Trust me, it's not much. Well, you could enchant one of his commanders with that aura, which would force him to sack How would I enchant a commander with that? I mean... Oh, are you talking about a prison on the moon? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. on your turn. Oh yeah, I can, but... Yeah, on your yeah, turn, I can. Yeah, you I'll, can I'll do something to help us out as well. If one, if one of you two of you could take the focus on doing the other commander, I can take care of his tokens right now. But it's yeah, gonna I'll leave take care of the token creator. So I'm, gonna, I'm gonna... Well, I can take care of his tokens right now. I love uh, becoming okay. public enemy number one. <laughs> but it's yeah. gonna take out my creatures as well. So... Hmm. But we're gonna need to take his commanders and slow them down if we're gonna. Wait, what? It's not too no. Hard. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this. You will get to actually use your curse. I applied it earlier than I was expecting. I'm gonna cast a damning verdict. It will destroy all creatures without counters on them. So unfortunately. You know that's gonna kill problem. Wizard, right? Why would that kill wizard? He has a creature. He has a creature that makes each opponent lose life equal to the number of cr creatures that die. He has one. Right. One. So if I have fourteen creatures die and wizards at twelve, that would put him at negative two. I don't understand. Wait, what does his his makes him him lose? Right. So. Creatures that die. Yeah, his his creature next to the white creature. It's that vampire. It's basically like blood artist. Oh, but it's for each opponent. Peralter oh, has a well, card. more like Zelleport actually. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it makes them, it's it's every creature that dies, not just um. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that spell so, literally kills wizard. Yeah, it would actually put us into a worse position. Yeah, it would. I didn't realize that you would drain. If you can get rid of that one specifically, and uh, then do it... Well, it, that spell is tapping him out, so he doesn't really have any more resources yeah. to do anything yeah. else. Well, I guess I could attack you, Prelter, with my Corporal, and then block him. Oh, yeah! That's right. So, I guess I'll yeah. move to combat then, and swing the Wilt Leaf over at Prelter. And what's Wilt Leaf again? 4-4. I'll block it with my rock straight thunder. No, and no, he wants you to. He wants you to block it with your creature that would kill wizard. I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna do a board wipe. And if your black creature is still on the board, then wizard's going to die, and then wizard won't be able to try to take. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I'll block with the uh, vindictive vampire. Okay. <laughs> um, then I'm. Gonna so everyone's gonna lose one life. No, uh, it's other creatures. Oh, it's other creatures. Never mind. Yeah. And then I'll cast the damage verdict. All right. So my commanders stick around, and I lose these two. All of your tokens. And then you'll roll a die for the curse. They're rolling a die. Four damage. All right. And then I'll cast. He has to move the the spell itself. The yeah, Prelters is odds, zombie is evens. Prelter, you got it. Nice. <laughs> okay, I'll pay one. I'm just gonna tap out. Indulgent Tormentor. At the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. Unless target opponent sacrifices a creature or pays three life. Um, uh, hold on one second. Let me, uh, 
sneak card um the reason why i do that is uh because i run the 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 ads then i'm ad free for an hour so every hour i run an ad so I, I then if someone were to join my sc- uh, twitch chat um oh, yeah that makes sense so <laughs> if you were to come into my stream you don't get an ad when you first start because people are more willing to leave when they see an ad um because they just want to see the content first so that's that's why i do that and um yeah uh the best way the best way to not see him is to sub i mean oh man it would have been nasty (laughs) so what other ones do you have in there that's like that one do you have do you like celeport i'm back sorry any of them oh Uh, no i don't have blood artists uh there's there's a couple fingers like that all right Um, oh, um, I'm gonna pass turn after Indulgent Tormentor. Oh, okay. Sounds good. I was about to say, technically, that Imprison in the Moon's not revealed anymore, but it doesn't matter. Just don't reveal your next card. Keep drawing. Well, we already knew what it was. So. I know, I know. That's. I would love to cast my commander again, but I'm not gonna do it. Let's. Imprisoned on the moon, your Tana. Tana? Alright, so I'll have Timna uh, sacrifice it and I'll deal one damage to Hugo, I guess. And then uh, this will go back to the command zone. And I will uh, draw a card. Hmm. Well, boys. Might be proper, but I did draw land, so I'm starting to get into to, you know, to be honest, I'm just gonna have to do this so I don't die. I'm gonna play propaganda. Nice. nice. I mean, you're not yeah. my target anymore since you're not the highest life total, so. Yeah, you're a token creator. I I yeah, fear. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'm I don't disagree with the play. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and untap. Upkeep draw. We will play a forest. Mm. Only doing one thing this turn anyway. So um Instead of the the mountain that I played, I'm gonna play uh, at the ancestry since I don't. Uh, guess I need to put a red source over. Oh, I do have a red source over there. Um, let's first go to combat. Actually, yeah. Before we play this, we're just gonna go straight up to combat. Uh, you go. I'm gonna attack you with a four-four lifelink. Seems good. Uh, I'll take. I'll gain three and draw a card. Uh, we'll play study hall instead. Uh, and then we're gonna add. Uh, I guess a a red. Green, uh, one, two, three, four. We're gonna cast Tana again. Uh, we're at three here. And then, uh, I'm gonna scry. Does it Tana cost eight? Uh, no, it costs one less for each time I've cast it from my command zone. So oh, it only costs okay. two more, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Which, uh, which background is that? It's not a background, it's just Myth Unbound. Myth Unbound. Yeah. Myth Unbound. Ooh. Um, I'm gonna scry... what was it? Uh... I'm gonna scry three. Oh, that's cool. Uh, one... 
three. Um, I did forget to mention, um, I do have one proxy. The card's in the mail. It's, uh, a, a, a Jarena Kudro. It's the Mardu commander that when, uh, whenever you enters the battlefield, I put that many 1-1 uh, creature tokens into play for each time I cast my commander. So, uh, we're going to put these two on the bottom and we're going to put this card on top. And then that's it for my turn. All right, I'll get, I, I actually have the jumbo card of that card because when I ordered it, I accidentally ordered the large card of it. So I'm going to go get it real quick. That thorn is getting expensive to cast every time. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Indulgent Tormentor is going to target um, a zombie. So when he gets back, I'll uh, ask him if he wants to sack a creature or pay three life. Or let you draw a card. Yep. It's a fun little thing. <laughs> I, mean, I said that I'd draw for turn, but. Cards in my hand, but most of them are like hey, five. that's a commander again. So they're all five now. See, I accidentally yeah, ordered the jumbo card. Nice. Uh, <laughs> a zombie, do you want to let me draw a card or sacrifice a creature of Patriot? Uh, who, who's asking this and why is it happening? Um, Indulgent Tormentor at the beginning of my upkeep. Uh, draw, draw a card unless target opponent sacrifices a creature or pays three life. Oh, I'll, I guess I can just pay three life. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so I won't draw two cards, I'll only draw one card. He's got left to spare. Yeah, I was wondering why you targeted me. With something like that, you would uh, want to target someone with the lowest life, right? So you're guaranteeing the card draw? Well, it can start whittling down your life, too. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Pay one, I just love drawing cards so much. <laughs> For a store and vengeful blood board. And that's a non creature spell, so I roll the yep. die. Roll the dice. Five damage. Jeez. Whoa. And then zombie, you'll be odds, Hugo, you'll be evens. Okay, it's on Hugo. Man, I'm dodging this thing like a fucking... Yo, I'm Neo from the fucking Matrix, apparently. <laughs> uh, Dr. Voidwalker. Um, shadow, this creature can uh, can block an own, an, or be blocked by a creature on the shadow. Um, probably put to an opponent's graveyard from anywhere, exile, then instead exile with a void counter on it. Then I can sack it, and then uh, pay one of the exiled cards. Mm, cool. I'm going to plus one Soren. I'm going to plus two Soren, actually. Forgot. Um, and I'm going to deal one damage to a zombie, and I'll gain one life out of it. Oh, I hit the pass button to turn. I'm sorry. Um, then I'll move to combat. Uh, Indulgent Torment just coming at you, zombie. Sure, how much? Five in the air. Five in the air. And then I passed her. Thumbs up. 
of keep drawing. My luck is coming out. I gotta land. So let's do the math here. I need a total of 60 G Castle. So one, two, one, one, two. Oh, sorry. Then extra two. And Malik is returned. Why keeping the top card? Magic missile. So why'd you cast magic missile? That's actually one of my blurbs. Cast it at second level. Um, I'm gonna cast. I'm gonna pay two to cast a tricks of decophile. Uh oh. That sounds inappropriate. I hand size. If I have exactly 13 cards in hand, I win the game. I begin my upkeep. That's pretty cool. And how many cards do you have in your hand right now? Four. Okay. That means oh, it's my. my turn, huh? Yep. It's more like a thematic choice due to We're gonna wizards. Draw a card. Um. So, <laughs> this is the card I drew. So I'm gonna put it there. Uh. All right. I'm gonna play a mountain. And then, uh, let's get the colors right. So green, green. Sorry, I jumped up. What happened? Hmm? It's anything my interesting. Anything interesting happened? I have a really big card in my hand. Oh, that's <laughs> nice. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna. Do you want to discard? No, I'm good. Thanks. In fact, I'm gonna play. Uh, I'm gonna play Thunderfoot Bailoff, hmm. and I'm also gonna play uh, Gina here. Uh, I have casted my commander five times, so I'm gonna create five soldiers. What does it do? Uh, as long as I control my commander, it gets plus two plus two, and other creatures I get have plus two, or other creatures I control have plus two plus two and trample. So these humans are fucking huge. So they're getting currently plus four plus four plus two plus zero oh, and plus two plus two. I'm safe. I mean this turn. Uh, all right. So I'm gonna go to combat. And, uh, ooh, these are, oh, you're an elf, you, you're lame. <laughs> All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go to combat and we're gonna attack, uh, Hugo with my two commanders. And then they're gonna give each other the, the boost. Right, do either of them have trample? Yes, they both have trample. Then I'll just take it to the face. All right, so um, I have this here. Uh, die. Oh, Twenty here. Um, so you're gonna take uh two, four, six, eight from Timna, and you're gonna take two, four, six. No, just four. Oh, hold on, hold on. Hold on, time out, time out. I need to do some maths here because uh, they're going to get plus... Uh, so she's going to get plus... What was it? So how does this resolve since I have two commanders? Like, can I make one, like, stupidly huge? So what's doing it? Uh, it's Hardy Outlander. Whenever this creature attacks a player, if no opponent has more life than that player, another target creature you control gets plus X plus X, where X is the creature's power. So, since she's an 8, right? And she is a 4. No, both can... of your commanders have that ability. Right. You have to target another creature. So right, so I'm going to target... Well, so what's going to happen is, I'm going to give her the plus 4, plus 4 first, and then I'm going right. to give... 
her the plus 12 plus 12. Is that right? Because when her hers would resolve, her power would be uh, four bigger. Mm, uh, I think I think it happens at the same. The, right, but the stack resolves one at a time, right? Yeah, the stack resolves one at a time, so the yeah, targets can be would. chosen at the same time. Right, but, it, but when it resolves, it's, it's when it checks X, yeah, right? Yeah, I believe that it, when it resolves, it would check X. I think it would. Uh, so I can get, I can make Tim the freaking huge because if I have hers resolve, like her pumping her first, and then I can give her. So let's say I have her get eight power bigger, right? And then she would give her a uh, twelve bigger. Is that correct? Um, no. She's a two-two, so it would be. Well, she. Well, hold on. So the reason why she's so big is she's a human, so she gets plus two plus zero. Oh. She's getting plus two plus two from this. Um. So she's getting plus four plus two, just from this, and she has two counters on her. So so that's plus six. So she's currently an eight, right? Well, hang on. So you're talking about having Timna pump Tana first. So that Correct. Tana's bigger whenever Tana pumps Tim. Okay, so let's resolve that first. Okay? So, so let's just actually walk it through. All right. So she her so, power is currently so, eight and her so power is stack, right? four or six. Before either, before either trigger resolves, their powers are what? So her power is six and her power is here, we'll do it this way. Her power is currently eight, and her power Jeez. is currently four. So if I make Timna plus eight plus eight, which would make her twelve, then she would give her plus twelve plus twelve, which would make her twenty. Yes, that's how that would work. Okay, so she is currently a twenty x. I don't know what her butt is. It's too smaller than her base. So she's a twenty eighteen. And she is currently this well, is lethal for me anyways because she's twelve. Trigger. So even if I block, I'll still take over twenty one points of uh, commander damage from her. So that's just lethal for me. There you go. Alright. So I'm gonna get twelve uh twelve all of these um i'll just leave this here i'm gonna gain 20 life it's so rough everything i've been drawing lately was like retardedly good. yeah that's that's pretty tough <laughs> I know I needed to draw like some fucking some mana ring. And then uh, I'm gonna lose a life and draw a card. All right. Uh, that's it for me. Upkeep trigger from the Golden Tormentor. Uh, LOL, you want to uh, let me draw a card, sack, or pay for your life? Okay. He's muted right now. Sorry, this deck is really complicated, and I didn't intend that to be that way. No, you're fine. I haven't drawn one single green mana, so I'm totally screwed. 
<laughs> oh crap i didn't even realize your de oh jesus oh my god that is rough i didn't even realize that i was looking at the herb organ i was like all right cool i can actually play things now yeah uh wizard you there he's still he walk away from that he might have walked away yeah he must have but i would assume He's yeah. going to let you draw a He's card. He's going to let you draw a card. So if you want to just draw a card and extra card and move forward, I'm okay with it. Because... Just make just make note of what your second card you drew was. Yeah. This was, yeah. yeah. Well, I'll only draw the one for turn. For right now. Okay. That's whatever. It could completely change what you're going to do. Yeah, that's why I would say draw it and just make note of what the second card is. Yeah, just Six. take note of what it is. Right. Or just look at it. How about just take a peek at it? And then you can see, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. And then you can make see, plans. See. Yeah, then you can make plans. And then if he does let you draw it, then you can see it. Then you'll know oh. if it would change what you're going to do. It, it does change things a little. So, <laughs> have, I, have I been fair on my assessment of the power level of this deck? Yeah, it's, it seems fun. Okay, I'm back. Okay, uh, do you want to... About time, jeez. <laughs> you want to do the uh, Indulgent Tormentor trigger? Do you want to let me draw a card? Or do you want to sack a creature or pay two? You know what, man? Draw you a card. Woohoo! We assumed that would happen. <laughs> because yeah, I would just... I would just sack so, a creature. I think I my 17 tokens would be okay. Vault of Champions. What power level did you say your deck was, zombie? Uh, a six. I mean, mm. I can readjust. I, again, this is only like the third time I've played it, so Maybe I just. just... But that's as high as I would say. I would say six to seven, just depending on. A six to seven, yeah. You know, because you could, if you didn't, you got really lucky with the lands that you hit, and you, you had some really, you had a really good draw. Yeah, you everyone know, on here a good, was screwed except for you. Yeah, on a good draw, and when people don't have a lot of interaction, you just play it five to seven. But I mean, I've had to cast my to commander a total of five times, so like. Yeah, exactly. But it's the fact that you've been able to cast it five times for is I'm gonna pretty impressive too, you know? Yeah, that myth unbound. Okay. Yeah, that myth unbound has definitely saved me, for sure. Yeah, that myth unbound definitely helps you. That's like, so if you have the right lineup, you're supposed to like a seven, which it's been planned out at seven, I would say, this game. That's, that's, that's good. I, that's why I wanted to discuss the power level of it. How big are your tokens? Uh, depends on which ones you're talking about. My humans are two, four, six, seven. Yeah, uh, two, four, six, eight, nine. They're nine sevens. And these are two, four, six, sevens. These are sevens. So what's doing that? Like what creatures are making them so big? Uh, we have inspiring leader, which gives my creatures, my, my commanders, all creature tokens get plus two plus two. So that happens twice. Thunderhoof Bailoff is giving all my creatures plus two plus two and trample. And then she is giving all humans, other humans plus two plus O. Oh. Okay. And how big are both of those? This is a three, three. This is a seven, seven. Oh, I'm sorry. This is a five, five. And this is a seven, seven. Yeah, because this is making this a 5-5, five five, and then this is making it, like, these are making this a 7-7. Seven seven. Jesus, okay. That's why I went with these, well, specifically this commander, because a lot of the, like, inspiring leader and other things like that just kind of, like, lead towards... Okay. Uh, Krelter, are you about done with your card? Um... Think of that one second. I think I'm gonna down tick uh, Soren three. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's that? Do? And bring Markov Purifier in. 
uh, mm-hmm. life point at the beginning of your end step. If you gain life this turn, you may pay two. If I do, draw a card. Um, whenever another black creature enters the battlefield under my control, each opponent loses one life, I gain one life. So then, okay. I'll gain one. Yeah. Oh, you don't have that rhino out anymore? No, unfortunately. What happened to it? Uh, it's from the, uh, the, the damning verdict. Oh, right. Yeah. Then I will pass my turn. Wait, wait. Not doggo. No. So I get, oh, I only get one life. Never mind. Yep, you're good. Alright. Just remember any cards that go into the graveyard are actually exiled. Correct, keep. And then I can cast it without paying its mana cost. Okay. Strike it rich. Create a treasure token. That's all that does. Cool. I mean, I can see why it's in. I can see why it's in the deck. That's not true. It does more than that. It adds to your storm count for free. Well, yeah. Do you need us to keep track of storm? Storm? Storm count? What do you mean? Okay, so there's a mechanic called storm. And Mm -hmm. what it does is it makes a copy of the spell that you cast for each time you cast a copy. So there's a card like Binds Desire, cost six, Mm -hmm. and then you shuffle your library, you reveal the top card, and you can play it without paying its mana cost. Storm. So then you would count how many spells were cast that turn, and you would copy that spell for each time the spell was cast. Yeah, Galvanic Rays does the same thing for a red and two colorless. There's the top card of your library, and you can cast that spell until the end of your next turn. Yeah, but you get to cast it for free. You get to play the card for free yeah, with Minds to Sire. This is a lot better. This is true. The That's why it right. also is like six mana instead well, of three. Yeah. yeah. Well, I ain't gonna cast it. Um, and it's exiled, correct? Yep. Mm-hmm. It is so two exiled. Two treasure tokens. So card revealed. Dictate a crew fix. Damn. Crew fix. That's a good one. I like that. Yes, you please. I wish you could play it so I could draw a... more. If you're playing a spell singer type deck. Okay, I took apart my draw deck and then made it into a spell singer deck because that was the sub version of it. Sure. Mm-hmm. And I just love to draw stuff in here. Um, Yours definitely is like a spell center type deck. So you should look at some of the storm cards. They would probably soup it up a little bit. Yeah, I do have one storm card. No, I don't actually. I think Mine's I Desire is the pretty pretty good one. Like that's the tap for tentacle. Four and play run out of town. Um, I'm gonna choose the. Sorry. Go ahead and choose that thing that gives uh, all your tokens plus two plus two on trample. This is okay. Yep, and put it on the bottom. Bob. Of your library. Thank Sounds you. Sounds good. I love you. <laughs> hey, my tokens don't have trample. Uh, I wish you would have done that forever ago. Yeah, one yeah. turn cycle ago would have been really nice. <laughs> I could be a nice right now. Sack of treasure to give robe of arch magi. It's nice being only one mana for wizards. I will block it with one of my tokens. Have you even attacked yet? Oh, I'm just letting you know what's going to happen if it does. Yeah, I I understand. (laughs) Um, You know what? Let's just. Pretty sure you're both dead. Crelter, are you willing to let me hit you for two damage? Sure. All right, I'll swing at you for two damage. Exactly. Taken. All right, I'll draw my two cards. Dictate. Feel it. Mountain. Feel it. It is Gaslight Snare. Counter type spell unless it's a puppy. Mountain. 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 That's what they have on the top. It's good. There's like, I don't know how many counter spells in this deck, and I'm going to pass turn. There is an insane amount of counter spells in this deck. <laughs> Alright. We'll, we'll, we'll adjust some 182. We're going to go ahead and draw a card. 
Um. We'll play a planes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tap one, two, three, four, five. And we're gonna do loyal guardian. So the beginning of combat. Go for it. I'm gonna tap two. I'm gonna play recalibrate on that thing that gives tokens plus two plus oh. Sure. Uh is it what is it doing to it? Just return it to hand. Oh, okay. Since I tapped my mana poorly, I have to actually pump mana through study hall. And it makes it actually do nothing. Uh I'll just recast it. He's bonding again. Tapping for two. Gaslight snare. Sure. Countering it. And that's a five bit what? Is it like it's just a hard counter or counter or, or you can pay three. Alright. All right, you're officially in my graveyard. Uh, it's actually exiled, so. Yes, it is. Hey, there we go, boys. Oh, I can even. I can also counter things. <laughs> now. <laughs> All right. Um. Is that a cash trigger? No, when it enters. And you okay. can also put something on the bottom of somebody's library. Exactly. Uh, that is true. That is true. So we're gonna go to combat, and I'm gonna give all my creatures plus one plus one. Combat. Yeah, yeah. Red so the trigger's trigger. on the stack. Yep. Red. I'm gonna hampering snare minusing creatures your opponent controls get minus two minus zero to end of turn. Okay. Um. So I'm still gonna give all my creatures uh plus one plus one counters. We're just gonna share this D4 between all of these. And then, uh, uh, uh they do. Still swinging with a lot. It's just not trampling. Just not. Well, trampling. no, these, they're, they're, uh, these creatures are. Oh yeah, they are. That's right. They get plus four, plus four. Oh god. So they're and three. Mice, two mice well, yeah, I, I. Yeah. So they're actually plus three, plus threes because of the counter here. Um. Well, what's the, uh, thing giving them the trample. Uh, oh, that's, that's gone. That's gone. That's gone. I got rid of all that. And what is the inspiring me to do? Each of my commanders have each uh, cre uh, creature tokens that control get plus two plus two. So plus two plus two plus two plus two. And then they all have one counter on it. Well, green player, you got enchantment removal. Yeah, I do. Um... If you had green. Well, I can even just copy the uh, run out of town. Uh, um, this isn't a creature. Target non that permanent. Oh, I thought it was target creature. <laughs> well, uh, what, what I, I'm still I'm still going to combat. Um, I'm only going to swing my commander. Do you have any death touch creatures? I have no. Okay. No um, so that would be. Uh, I'm gonna hold on, hold on. Oh, hold, hold, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm debating whether I'm attacking or not. Okay. I just got to do a little bit of math. So give each other a boost of. 
fall. It'll be three, six, four, seven. How big are your creatures? Uh, two, three, two, three, five, three, and a three, two. Two, three, two, three, and a five. You said a five, two. Five, three. three. Five, three. Um, I'm just not gonna attack. They're they're too small. We're just gonna pass the turn. All right. Um, yep. Uh, and those torment are triggered. Uh, I'll lose it. Uh, no, you can draw your two cards. Okay, from the man tower. Yeah, that's that's what I'm like. Uh, so green, black, one, two, three. Uh, Baraska the Unseen. Uh, plus one uh, until any, until your next turn. Whenever a creature uh, deals combat damage to Baraska the Unseen, destroy that creature. Uh, destroy target non-land permanent for a minus three. My ultimate is create three one one black assassin creature tokens with whenever this creature deals combat damage to a player, that player loses the game. Ooh, nice. I'm going to plus one her. Going up to six. Then I'm going to plus two Soren. We're going to five. Then I'll ping, uh, I'll ping you a zombie. Okay. This game is getting intense. Attack, but I will pay two to draw a card on my end step from Markov Purifier. Yeah. All right, and then I'm done. All right, one turn. So, keep. How many cards do you have in your hand right now, Wizard? Three. Oh. Okay. Draw a Wandering Mind and reveal the next card, which is an Unblinking Observer. Just a bill coming on. <laughs> so that's tap for. I kind of need to fix that. It's tap for three. Then play Wandering Mine. Whenever it enters a battlefield, I'm going to top six cards in my library. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And choose. I may choose a non creature and online card from my game, put to my hand. Press on the bottom of my library. Hmm. Only one. I think it's a nice one. I was about to say you will have to reveal that card. Oh yes, it is. Bane's contingency, a counter spell. Okay. Just randomizing this a little bit and put it on the bottom. That top card is revealed, which is a gold hound. Nice. I'll be nice to Krelter, and I'll do this for him. Tap for... Th no, I don't even have to tap for three. I'm just tap for two. I'll play Kami at the Crescent Moon. Again, each player's draw set, the player draws an additional card. Uh, that's two blue. Yeah, I tapped two blue. Oh, I thought you were... I, it looked like you were tapping red. Sorry. To me, no, it looked actually... like you tapped your swamps. It's true. He did tap some swamps. I don't... <laughs> And what is that? Kami of the Crescent Moon. It's another Howling Moon effect. Okay, nice. Yeah. Or ha Howling Mine, not Howling. Howling Mine, yeah. Howling Mine's in my other deck. And then, let's see. 
What's a card on the very far left uh, zombie? How big is it? Which one? The this? Very far left. Yes. It's a 4-4. Four, 4-4, four. A four, four, okay. Um, oh, actually, it's a 5-5. Five, five. I forgot it gets a counter, too. 5-5, five, five, okay. Um, I'll pass. All right. Running out of dice, people. You're going to want to play another one after this? I'm now. Yeah, I'm sure. gonna probably change my deck up. We're gonna draw a card. Yeah, How many cards does everyone have in hand? I have seven. Oh. Seven zero. Oh, I get to draw <laughs> two cards, right? Yeah, two cards. All right, we're gonna cast uh, the best red card ever, Jessica's Will. I knew it. <laughs> hey, it, it the card says Commander on it. Okay. I know. I know. <laughs> All right, so. Uh, Keep finding random dice. So I have seven red. And oh, nothing. Okay. All right. So this is you get to cast Jessica's will too. By the way. Uh. Oh, I can't. Right. One. I don't know. Two. I need the red mana for, but... Three. Oh. Ooh. Card's cool. So we'll use six of the seven. So I have one red left. And then we're going to cast Majestic Genesis. We're going to reveal the top X cards of your library where X is the greatest amount of value of commander cards on you own on the battlefield or in the command zone. You may put any number of permanent cards from among them onto the battlefield. Put the rest onto the bottom of your library in a random order. <coughs> but you get to cast that too for free if you want. Uh, no, I know that. Uh, this is gone. So you're just going to be revealing the cards? It's the top, uh, top four. Right yeah. So one. I say do the same, Crowther. Two. I might. Three. Okay. Well, three or four? Because the chest is this three. Yeah, but. Ten, uh, t Tana costs four, so I, I revealed top four. So it's... It's based on your commander. Yeah. Oh, you didn't cast Jessica's will? I did. That was... Yeah. I used six... I used six of, uh, six of the red mana to cast it. Oh, you know, this is what you're casting after Jessica's. Yeah, 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 yeah. So... I'm gonna cut. Uh, I got four permanents, so I got commander creatures you own have at the beginning of your end step. If a creature card was put into your graveyard from anywhere this turn, create two tapped one one green squirrel creature tokens. Uh, cl uh clockwood hermit. Can and then, me? yeah, sure. If you don't mind. Oh, that one. Okay. Uh, we got Veteran Soldier, Commander Creatures you own have whenever this creature attacks a player. If no opponent has more life than that player, for each opponent, create a 1-1 White Soldier Creature Token that's tapped and attacking that player. I also got Tyrant's Familiar. Uh, it says 5-5 five, five Flying Haze. As long as you control your commander, Tyrant's Familiar gets plus 2, plus 2, and has whenever Tyrant Familiar attacks... It deals seven damage to target creature defending player controls. Right. And then what, I got a, what, a mountain. What spell did you put those on the battlefield? Uh, Mystic Genesis or Majestic Genesis. Um, I'm gonna actually run out of town. The uh, the dragon you just played. Sure. Put it to the bottom. And then uh, black creatures leaving the battlefield. Each opponent loses one life. I gain one life. Um, I haven't played a land yet, so uh, I can play lands off of Jessica as well, right? Yeah. Play. Right. Okay. Yeah, I had not. Yeah. You're good. Uh, one, two, three. I'll use the last red. I'll cast Command Sphere. And one, two, three. 
I'll then cast Flame Kin Herald. So now my commander spells have Cascade. Um, okay. Uh, we're gonna go to combat. So a creature went to your graveyard, correct? Indeed. Okay, cool. So at the end of my turn, I will create four tat on one squirrels. All right, so uh, we're going to give counters to everything. Um... Mm. um So, my commanders are going to attack Relator and uh, I will determine that in just a minute. Okay. Because it's a lot. <laughs> you know, I think I just figured out what to call your deck. Because it's not really Voltron, because you're not really stuff on your creatures. It's more like a stack, so it's kind of like a Voltron stack stack. Well, I I mean, I don't see stacks. I don't affect other oh, people's oh, boards. No, no, no. Well, you're stacking effects still. I mean, oh, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Um, All right. Um, it's the original form of stacks. <laughs> yeah, it's a Voltron stack where you're stacking auras that affect that pump your stuff. So, uh... All right, so I'm going to attack uh, with two humans to a uh, wizard. Which I actually really like the thing? strategy that you came up, you put together here, man, because when your shit dies, your stacks or your auras can still stay. Unless yeah. Independently, which is super cool. Okay, so... Uh, since I had creatures attack, um, so he has two five fives coming his way. Um, you have, uh, okay, so they're currently four and six. So I'll give her plus six. Her plus, uh, wait, she has trample. No, I'm going to give her plus four and then her plus 10. So she's 16 and she is a eight and okay. she has trample. Um, now, are you attacking me or my command or my planeswalkers? Oh, oh, your face. Okay. And um, then, oh, wait, hold on. I have, uh, two one one or well they're five fives coming your way as well okay no he has five six sevens he has seven sevens coming his way i have five fives going two five fives and really big okay. coming your way um i'm gonna block the tnt combo there with mark up purifier and anara uh so she she does have trample okay and it's uh, 18 current jeez um, and double strike too doesn't it no no double strike uh, okay. um okay yeah marco purifier is gonna block the one with trample okay and i'll gain two off of that and uh a black creature is losing, uh, leaving the battlefield. Well, let's 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 do blockers first. Let's let's do yeah. all the blockers first. Yeah. Um, then Anara's going to block um, Timna. Okay. So, and then you still the have five. two five okay. fives. I'll take the other. I'll take the remaining. So you're taking so, ten, ten plus the. How big is your other creature? Oh. 
sugar. You're right. Um, it's a two, two, three. So, so it would be fifteen. You're taking twenty-five. Yeah. Oof. Rough. I'll just block the two seven sevens with my wandering mind and my calming. Hey. Or I do. I'll just block one of the sevens. I'm down to five the beginning. Yay! That's seven life. Yeah, I'll leave, um, I'll leave what happened just now. My dog's over there on the floor and laying on the floor next to my wife on the couch. And where is all oh, this spine? And his fart smelled so bad that her eyes were watering and she's literally crying and begging him to get away from her. <laughs> it's, it's all right. Uh, pretty funny. That's it. I had 12 tokens. I could have just killed you. I don't know why I did. <laughs> uh, that's it for me. The toilet for some reason. Uh, and then since the creature died, I get two tap squirrels. Yes. Um, Those will be tier. Wizard, do I draw a card off the Oh, and token? then how many, uh, how much damage did you take from... Uh, her. I took the... It was 18 and you blocked. So you took 15 from her, right? Yeah. And so... then I gained two off of lifelink. Alright, so... Um... I'm, I'm getting more 15 now. more sapper links. So that oh. would... Uh... I had 12 plus 15. That's, what, 20? Um... 12 plus 15, that's 27. Uh, Krelter, make sure to draw your additional for Kami. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Thank you. Put a Wait. Oh, I get four because I have two commanders. Uh, look at all the squirrels. for crypt guest wait does that mean all my swamps tap for an additional no that's yours just yours whenever i tap for swamp for now. yeah i got excited first <laughs> and everything is swamp turns out the game is insane I fell asleep for five minutes while fighting Chandra. I, I, I don't blame you. Chandra's boring. Um, I'm going to plus two Soren. Uh, over at you, a zombie. So I gain one. Oh, no. I'm, I am in danger. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I'm going to minus three Vraska, and I'm going to destroy uh, Tana. That's okay. <laughs> you you enjoy your moment of victory here, zombie. I, I, I will enjoy the crap out of it, okay? <laughs> Alright, so I've cast Tana three times. Uh, I don't see why that would be a problem. I, my brother, he's asking, or he's demanding that I play another game after. Then I'm going to putrefy Timna. Wow. I'm going to draw two cards. Uh, and then I'm going to use, uh, since I tap a black for, uh, since I tap a swamp for mana, um, I'm going to pay another one for extort. Each opponent loses one life and I gain that much life. Like you need in your deck. What? We should need a deck of a thousand <laughs> Who needs a Vidalcan Ori? I do, I do need Vidalcan Ori. If they weren't so expensive right now, I would. Yeah, it's like, what, $27 or something stupid like that? Yeah. And then, um, 
I have another swamp for mana. Or you so, could just buy some another new double mastery so make one out of that. I'm gonna use one one floating swamp for sanguine indulgence, uh, since I gained three life this turn. Um, turn up two target creature cards from your graveyard to your hand. Do this one and this. No, that's, that's that one. I will do that one. Turning rocks, faith mender, and mark up purifier. Uh, I will have to uh, put that on there now for sure. Just do it. And then I will pass to my last turn. All right. So untap, upkeep. I'm going to tap for three. The flash in dictate crew fix. Oh fuck yeah. So I get to draw three, one, second one on an island, two. Yeah. Three. Oh my god, it is really bad. Um, it's been tied up all day, so I just wanted to let it hang down. Ugh. I will Ugh. go ahead what? and play an island. Uh, wet blast trap, if you guys want to scan it real quick. Uh, two target creatures to their owners. Add two or more creatures. Something here. Turn. Actually, your camera's good enough when you hold it up like that. We can just read it. What? So your your camera camera's pretty good enough that we can just read it when you oh. hold it up like that. Well, the last time we were okay. can't scan it. Let's tap for one for a gold hound. First strike and menace. And I cannot really do anything else, so pass turn. Are you are you watching that? Hmm, wait, what? Are you watching the last episode that one? Okay. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and draw a card. Oh, I draw three cards now, right? One, two, three. Question is, is, do you have enough to end the game here? More than likely. Oh, for sure. It's just how do I want to do it? All right, here's what we're going to do. We're going to play Opal Palace. Uh, we're going to cast. So you cost five, six, one, two, three, five, six. We'll do it. Alright, so we're gonna do it this way. I'm gonna cast Timna with Opal Palace, which uh she'll gain um uh three plus one plus one counters. And then I get to cast Cade for a two drop. Ah, oh, noble, Will? noble heritage, huh? Did I see a Kaluth's will in there. Uh, is it's uh Zat's will, and yes, oh, okay. a Kaluth's will as well. Okay. Uh, so noble heritage. So, um, when my commander enters the battlefield, this creature enters the battlefield, and at the beginning of your upkeep, each player may put up two plus one plus one counters on a creature they control. For each up opponent who does you gain protection from that player until end of turn so hmm. now my creature enters the battlefield everyone has the option to put 
two plus one plus one counters on a creature, but then I have protection from you. Would anyone like to do that? Nah. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to pay three. And we're going to sacrifice these three creatures to kill uh, Lol Wizard. With Street Urchin. Okay, I'm going to respawn. I'm going to do a pro gamer move right here. We're going to talk for three. Well, I'll, I'll, yeah, so are you, I'll let them resolve so you'll be at one. Well, so, like, I'll do well, one, I'm, I'm resolve, do right? one, resolve. Well, I'm going to respawn. So, to the first one? Yeah, I'm going to okay. play Magic Missile and deal three damage to myself, killing me. Nice! You don't get the pleasure of that. Uh... Um... And then I'm just going to go to combat. All my creatures are going to get plus one, plus one counters. And then I'm going to smash face. Yes. Uh, a, a glorious death indeed. 